During that time, war has gripped the eastern parts of the country, causing mass population displacement and death. It's one of many reasons why analysts believe the UN mission has been largely ineffective. MONUSCO's track record in the DRC is not particularly good. If you look at the situation of civilians, you see that it's not good in several provinces like Ituru. And again, this M23 crisis in North Kivu, which has displaced thousands of people. Civilians in eastern DRC filled the streets earlier this this year to demand the peacekeepers withdraw. The demonstrations turned deadly. This family lost one of its members to the violence but remains adamant. The peacekeepers, known locally as Monisco, have to go. From my side, I can't ask for my son to be returned to life. It's impossible. But the message I can send to the government is to do its best to get Monisco to leave the country. I'm wounded in my heart. Even if I could see it, I could stone them. Also, people here say that the UN mission in the DRC has filed in its mission to keep the peace and protect the population. Analysts contend that uh, it has nonetheless made some laudable achievements. MONUSCO has succeeded in some areas, but unfortunately these are peripheral successes if you compare them with its main mission, for example, monitoring human rights protection and humanitarian logistics because DLC is a very large country. The Blue Helmets have not only offered logistical support during elections, they've also helped in peace-building efforts in countries like Liberia, and Ivory Coast, but recently strong at UN sentiments have been growing in places like Mali, where UN peacekeepers have already begun to withdraw from several regions after pressure from the government and local residents. Without MINUSMA, nothing bad can happen. People are going to help each other. We have no choice. We're obliged to take our responsibility in our hands and make sure we can rise to the challenge. It's unacceptable that after 65 years of independence, there are people who come to help us. And that's what the people have understood. Mali has been plagued by terror attacks for more than a decade and is one of the top 10 countries affected by terrorism. Malian political analysts believe the increase in terror attacks is one of the main reasons the UN mission has been disavowed by the population. Malians' perception of the mission was that it would be a combat mission, but the mission is not. So there is a gap between the nature of the mandate and Malians' expectations. And with security incidents, the eventual absence of UN forces will leave civilians at even more risk. Zanem Netizaidi, TRT World, Goma, DRC.